Park's new address is Jersey Street. The Red Sox succeeded in getting rid of the name Yawkey Way. The owners say former owner Tom Yawkey was racist, and they want everyone to feel welcome at the ballpark. Even before the street sign comes down, Julie McDonald shows us the ripple effect the change is having in Boston. Well, the Yaki Foundation, which has donated more than $300 million to city organizations, calls this a sad day, but the Red Sox say this is about everyone being welcome at the park. This is Yaki Way. Everybody that's a Red Sox fan knows that. Boston's Public Improvement Commission is striking Yaki Way out. Fenway's famous street will put on its former jersey, and some Sox fans don't know how to feel. It seems like PC is kind of won over. I'm for that, uh, although. This the Yaki name has been here for you know a number of years now. Current Sox ownership would like some distance from some of those years, citing a reputation of racism when Tom Yaki was in charge. Mayor Walsh is hopeful for healing. I think the issue um, around race and racism uh, that's not going to be the answer. The answer has to be better collaboration, better conversation, um, and, and hopefully we can move forward. Supporters of the change say good riddance. I think it's a long time coming. They should have did it a long time ago. But other Fenway faithfuls refuse to forget. It's always been Yaki Way to me. It's still going to be Yaki Way. The MBTA will follow suit, renaming their Yaki stop. But BC, the Museum of Science, and Dana Farber have no plans to change their signage. Outside Fenway Park, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.